Well, welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Well, we're in the little tiny house build, and I guess from when you saw it last, the plumbing was pretty much done. I got the paneling on the inside, and uh, one boy's over here, Carl's got the cabinets. He's building them in place. So once again, um, this will actually be a hole for the refrigerator. The stove will go there. Sink comes over here. Since I showed everybody, the, there is sheetrock in the bathroom and it's up. I'm gonna put the fixtures in and then of course, mount the commode to the floor. We do have um, power line dug. Man showed up with his mini X and he's been busy for two weeks doing power lines over to the poles. We now have electric at the box. We still don't have it all wired. But let me take you outside and show you the next thing we're doing. Of course, the water line came down here from the well and whatnot. And we do have water at least this close to it. Of course, we got to finish digging from here. One of these lines is the water line going in, and one of them is the drain line to drain everything down for winter time. I'll show you that as we hook it up. And then, of course, then we have the septic tank in. And other than digging a hole and putting the tank in level, that's about it. But I'll take you along here this week and next time, hooking the sewer up and running the plumbing in the house and hooking everything up to the sewer line. And probably tomorrow, before I post this video, the line comes here and he's got it wiggling around here and the drain field's over here. So I'll show you putting that drain field in and hooking it up, how all it goes. Well, here we are. Of course, we right below the tiny house. The sewer line coming in isn't done yet. This is septic tank, that's the end end of the tank this is the out it's a little bit lower where the holes are got a grommet four inch pipe comes out we got a clean out right there and then a long radius 90 that goes down to the next one every bend will have a clean out just that if it ever gets clogged you can get into it it should never get clogged because the only thing coming out of this end of the septic tank is the affluent which is nothing but water going into the drain field. All the solids are then trapped in the tank. Two compartment tank. And it comes down to this one. Then it comes down to here. And then this here is where we just use some pre-made drain tile pipes with peanuts on it. It's starting to pour down rain. So we got this run in here and We'll get the other run in when it gets done raining. We'll go ahead and backfill this, but I wanted to try to shoot a little bit of this septic tank drain field before we started covering it up. Well, I think today's Thursday. I'm shooting this video, and they're calling for another massive bunch of rain and uh, trying to fill up. We're putting some water in, this, in the septic tank. Because, of course, this thing right here has got one flat roof that comes back, which means all the water's going to flow here. And what we don't want to do is fill in between the hole and the septic tank. And literally, the septic tank, being it's empty, would float right up out of it. So we just hooked a temporary piece of pipe into the inlet side, and we're putting half or better water in there so it doesn't float up in all this rain we're supposed to get violent thunderstorms and a boatload of rain this weekend i guess we need it anyhow but mr will crazy shovel will has been backfilling here i took the tractor and pushed some of it down with the tractor but i couldn't get in here with the trees finally got the last piece of pipe and put this clean out riser up but we're trying to get this all filled in before the weekend and then where next big project will be digging 
the sewer line in and I'll show you how to get the grades right to hit up to the septic tank that'll the septic that'll be underneath the tiny house. And then that great big pile of dirt will go on top of the septic tank and we'll mark the lids with a couple of pavers up on the top so future reference from now somebody will know where it is to get the lids off to pump it off if it ever has to be pumped out and we'll be working on the water line and I'll show you up hooking it up hooking my drain line up and that's the kitchen drain hanging down we'll be doing all that and cutting the timbers off and getting ready to put underpinning on it I'll show you that the next time and maybe Carl will have the inside done but as usual, like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Any questions or any comments, post them for me. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.